Good day, good people. Welcome to another video of accountability. So we're about 78, pardon me, we're about 12 days in or so. That means 78 days away from, you know, the deadline of me just putting my life together and ending the software developer journey as well as not really per se getting to my strength goals, but at least, yeah, making it yeah further than yeah this specific mark and one recurring topic that has one topic that has been reoccurring in my mind is frustration right frustration when it comes to being disciplined and the need for a higher sense of emotional intelligence because i noticed that when it comes to per se gymming right go to the gym hit some heavy squats hit some heavy deadlifts well heavy according to my standards <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah it's easy to do it on a regular basis but when it comes to intellectual work you feel me work which i know i really need to do i really need to extend myself i really need to learn you know when it comes to per se the software engineering stuff building Istolo up as a business, so on and so forth. The sense of discipline is less. And I noticed that because of the frustration when it comes to intellectual work, I have to develop a higher sense of emotional intelligence so that I can follow through with the discipline, so that I can get the results that I want to get. And yeah, so... With all of this being said, I noticed that, hey, what I need are processes. Because when it comes to gym, there's a process. When it comes to school, there's a process. When it comes to like a work, you feel me, like a conventional nine to five, there's a process. When it comes to entrepreneurship, it's just the wild, wild west. You feel me? It's like this whole time it's been a matter of character development you know failure after failure after failure and you know con continually adjusting perspective after perspective after perspective you know lesson after lesson after lesson and just putting things together and understanding my individual formula understanding how it is that i need to change understanding where it is that i've went wrong and what it is that i do have you know, in order to make things work and accounting for like the past, Lord knows, plus minus 10 years of just hustling. <laughs> you feel me? Which can be crazy for some, but crazy in the worst way, by the way, where it's like, it's just you in the abyss. You stare into the abyss, it stares back, your soul's getting sucked. So I noticed that in essence, the next level is developing the right processes in these 90 days in order to get where I need to get which is independence, but also finishing off the software developer journey so that I can begin upgrading my metric marks or basically getting new metric marks so that I can study mathematics and see whether my suspicions of creating at the highest level possible individually, me creating at the highest level possible individually is based upon mathematics. Oh, I'm just tripping. I, I just want to make myself suffer. So that's it so that's been it hey emotional intelligence discipline processes it's highly important like yeah as a kid you know what i'm saying a couple of years back i'd hear gary v talk about yeah trust the process trust the process trust the process but in all honesty after a while it's just like <laughs> i never understood the depth of it and my own individual formula for success you feel me and acknowledging that okay success is a day-to-day -day thing in fact it's a minute to minute second to second thing and being conscious and cognizant in terms of entrepreneurship is highly important so i guess i've learned this because of i've learned this through comparing exercising my physicality right and developing a sense of prowess with my body but then for some reason when it comes to my sense of intellectuality right and developing skills working skills 
they've fallen behind or they haven't really been as disciplined of, as to being like okay where am i getting at because with entrepreneurship there's a lot that you do you feel me you do a bit of this a bit of that a bit of this a bit of that and you know you never really master anything particularly that can be like okay i am a software engineer that is my skill base you know in order to have like a constructive chat because sometimes you can just be like i'm an entrepreneur and that's just that sounds like a scam to me you feel me i'm a creative what do you mean you feel me like sometimes i personally believe you can you can let's just say it only works when you say that and you're actually somewhere but when you're struggling in the beginning phases of it all like a good amount of us you feel me it's just constant failure mild success you know you just yeah <laughs> you're just spending time in the game you know what i'm saying it's a you know i personally believe it's always important to recognize where you're at so that's one thing that i appreciate about learning and seeing learning and seeing this journey through you feel me within these odd 80 some days to come so that's been well 70 some days to come so that's been about it on my side you know because there was this one day where i was just extremely overwhelmed it was agony i don't think it was yeah it was a little bit of anxiety a little bit a little bit of depression you feel me a little anxiety because you think of the future a little depression because you think of the past now it all comes into this ball and i was like mm, f it i'm just gonna become a software engineer get a job and then i'll hop back into the game when i'm 30. but then again i was like nah i told myself that when i'm 27 in two years from now if i have not done anything or i have not made the progress that i need to make in terms of mm, all of this work in terms of entrepreneurship then it's cool you know because it's only like last year where i figured out that okay shop i need to become a software engineer in order to create at the highest level possible and to execute these ideas at the same time it's only like recently we have understood that okay i'd rather make my primary skill software engineering web development you feel me to be particular even though people say there's no difference i believe there's a bit of a difference it's in the words and the practice but same skill set nonetheless and yeah that'll be my primary skill which is software development and then my secondary my, my primary skill then my secondary skill will be internet marketing digital marketing you feel me and then as time goes on my primary skill will then be mathematics apply mathematics once i figure out the exact you feel me and see it through then after that my secondary and my tertiary will basically be digital marketing you feel me because at the end of the day software engineering is not just for the sakes of it it is to make money it is to sell products it is to execute business ideas <laughs> same thing goes with digital marketing so when all of that combines you can i just call it digital marketing and yeah i forgot who said that then oh yeah i'm um, chris a hughes the person that i'm learning search engine optimization which is what i'm focused on in terms of Vistola right now and it being a personal shopping experience yeah he said he's in the business of digital marketing and i was like oh yes that is true digital marketing i feel that i feel that because that encapsulates a whole lot a whole lot so yeah that's that's been my chat guys and where it's at emotional intelligence and yeah that's it's highly necessary in order to get into the zone in order to do things that you're not really excited for or things that might just make you a little depressed a little anxious so hopefully that helps whoever it helps and yeah that's it from me i'll make another video when i make it of updating concerning my free forms but peace